Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on the Shizen Hogoku Zoo on Planet Zoo in our franchise mode. Welcome back. Today we are building a food court for our people. Now that being said, we are not completing this food court today in this video. This video is going to be shorter than others. I do apologize for that, but I will show you guys why it will not be completed. So first off, a few things to mention before I start getting building. We do not have all of our food and drink shops to put in here. So we only have the chief beef and the gulpy. That being said, that is mainly because we do not yet have any other food or drink shops at the moment. We are in our franchise mode and we need to research those items. So therefore, I only have two shops right now, one chief beef and one gulpy station, and that is all we're gonna need for the beginning of this food court. However, I do have this building set up, so we can add in three more later. We will have a total of five stands in this building. That being said, as for the building itself, just a little bit of an idea of what we're doing with it today. We are doing a very brief decoration with this building. So as of right now, all we have is the roof and the plaster walls for this building. I do not add in any decorations toward this wall yet. And the reason for that is because I'm waiting until I can unlock more items for, you know, drinks and food to put in here. So that's a little bit of the thought process behind that. And toward the end of the video, you'll maybe understand a little bit better why I went with that approach. And with that being said, I do want to add in more animals to this wonderful place, but I cannot complete that right now because I'm doing this food court. So as for the food court itself, we have the main building set up. We have the idea of what we want to do with the building. Now the whole process of what we're doing in this video is building our plaza for our food court. So people have a place to eat and sit down because that's usually important when you want to go get food and drinks. <laughs> you don't want to walk around and eat things constantly. So we end up building our plaza and it took me a few tries. We end up using the same type of material for this plaza, same type of rock style. Now that being said, you may be wondering what this little small building is off to the side and that is our public restroom. So we will have a public restroom for this area. As you can imagine, you may have to go to the bathroom after you eat. So perfect place to put it, right? Unlike the Katahdin Zoo, we actually did a little bit of a better job giving this area a little bit more space. And we also have the toilets nearby. So therefore, if someone has a bean burrito and has issues after, they can walk over and hopefully take care of that issue. <laughs> Anyhow, there is a lot of space to deal with this area toward the front of the park. I still have more work to do toward the front of the park, however I'm going to do some work off video, but I want to show you the thought process for some of these areas so you can get a little bit of an idea of what you can do in your own zoo, that's if you play Planet Zoo. If you don't play Planet Zoo, maybe you will find this interesting, who knows. But as for these benches here that I throw down by our rocks here, we end up using once again our awesome Asian rocks here, East Asia rocks that are obviously man-made, but it blends in with the natural feel of the area a little bit. So we actually end up sinking them down into the benches. And the reason why we do that is because people will actually sit down on the benches since we have the rocks that masks the benches, then it's very easy for you know it to look like these people are just sitting down on rocks. Sorry, that was really hard to say for some reason. But as for the bathrooms here, we did have a little bit of an issue. I wanted to place down a little bit of water nearby, and the reason why I want that water there is because we don't want just plants to fill up all these areas. I wanted to have a little bit of a man-made structure near this area for you know a little bit of a body of the water, and I think it worked out really well to say the very least. I had to remove the water so I could actually add in the restrooms, but uh, after I figured out that, I ended up placing in the rocks to give this area a little bit more of a lively feel. Now, that being said, your eye is not gonna draw into this area, mainly because there's really nothing that special about it. But let's say if your eye did draw over to this area and you kind of took a look at it and you're like, hmm, that's interesting, it doesn't look awful either, which is the intention in this case. 
with these little stones on the back i have it blend in with our building right behind it and the main reason why we do that is because one the water needs to come from somewhere so we're going to use that as like a little waterfall area and by doing that it makes it seem like our water is being pumped into the pump station wherever that may be and it will filter out and in through that area so that is the thought process behind that and along with that east asia's stone we do have just regular rocks that do blend in with that as well it would look very weird if the rocks did blend straight into the bathrooms so that's why we approached this this way now i do not complete this little area because to be honest i was i'm doing so much recording right now and trying to pre-record a lot if you guys don't know i'm going on vacation so i'm recording like 1.25 videos a day and trying to complete just as many so that is why i kind of didn't finish this area but in the cinematics you'll get a little bit of a better idea of what else i did to complete these areas but that being said we do have these little grass patches that we need to fill in and what we're going to do is we're going to throw in some trees some flowers and whatnot to finish it off unlike most areas i've been using some sort of barrier that includes uh, usually something that is the fence height of most areas such as you know last video we used that rock to kind of block off the trees and the gardens and stuff like that so instead of doing that we ended up using our wood once again like we did in the katahdin zoo we may have done it a little bit overboard in the katahdin zoo and there's a lot of issues with that zoo oh my god i'm gonna do a future video about that by the way and you know all the things that we're gonna have to fix about it and whatnot i'm wondering if i need to start over to be completely honest i would hate to do that but i may have to Anyhow, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. We use this basic East Asia wood theme going on here, and we just use that as like a curb for these little areas. And what I end up doing also is, first of all, I do this with all the areas inside this plaza. And what we do is we fill in these areas with either mulch or we fix up the terrain with dirt. And that gives it not a green feel, but it ends up putting in that dirt color and that dirt texture which works out very well for the concepts that we're going with so we end up throwing in some nice natural shading so we end up using things from the temperate and tropical biomes and with that being said they are all out of asia so they are all you know home to their natural continent so they're not anywhere that they shouldn't be i don't remember what terminology that is supposed to be used but anyhow I do a few different things with this, mostly trees and mostly a few flowers, nothing too much, a little color, but hopefully not too much, a few plants, but hopefully not too much. And the reason why I do that is because it is very important to make sure that people don't find this as a specific garden type. This is just filler. This isn't anything to draw your eye to. This isn't meant for, you know, you to come over and be like, wow, look at this, you know, professionally made garden. That's not the whole point of it. It's only just to, supposed to kind of bring the plaza alive a little bit without having your eye draw to it too much. Now, I did use that fence piece and I used that to, you know, have it for the flowers that climb up. I did see in a video that those climbing flowers can be flipped upside down to make it look like it's growing out of the ground and making it look like the flowers are growing upwards and not falling downwards, which ended up working just fine. So. The game doesn't, isn't like saying like, oh, that's what it's meant to be, but I kind of did anyway. I took it off of uh, what somebody else did in a YouTube video, completely forgot who, but I kind of take that idea and I kind of do a little spin with it with that fence there. And aside from that, I do fix up the area a little bit, nothing too special. I don't end up doing anything near that main building with our food production or sorry our food shops and our drink shops i don't do anything with that area and that was totally intentional that is something i'm gonna have to do later our next video for the shizen hogoku zoo actually is going to involve animals i promise you that much i do apologize we have not been doing anything along the lines of that lately so that is really all i have to talk about this area the last thing i do want to mention though before doing our outro is that 
we end up do throwing in a lot of East Asia bins and picnic tables to fill in this area and it really brings out the color and really does disrupt that path that is very consistent throughout the area. We do make sure it's not all the stone that you're walking through. You need something in the middle of that stone to break it up and the trees and everything is not enough. I actually end up doing throwing an umbrella on top of one of them because a lot of the picnic tables are covered by the trees except for the, like this one picnic table so I end up throwing an umbrella on it. And as for how many picnic tables we have there, they are not enough. There are already not enough picnic tables there. And that being said, I do need to find another area to add in some more seating. And I may actually have to move over our main building for where people can get food and drinks. So that is also another reason why I didn't go ahead and put in more food and drinks inside that building and completing the design of the building itself because I had a feeling we may have to move it. So therefore, I'm gonna be going through my own testing phase. Probably not gonna show you guys too much of it, maybe show you a little bit, but we're gonna go through a testing phase to see how this area handles with all the pedestrian traffic flow. And I also do expect people to cut through to the area. So I didn't want people to you know, be eating lunch and all of a sudden like 100 people moving in within like 30 seconds. That would be kind of ridiculous. But that's all I have to talk about this area. So I do appreciate you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And let's say if you do join our Discord and subscribe at the same time, you can let me know and I will give you a free shout out in the next few videos. Be sure to take advantage of that. I will be happy to do that for you. Comment suggestions, leave me down below and I shall see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.